or if you are going to leave, leave, uh, move up. Should I say six or no? I don't remember. Today we're going to be talking about how you can take care of yourself after surgery. Well, number one, make sure that you have a good environment of care at home. You've got to be able to rest and relax, whether that means that you're going to have to live downstairs, you're not walking up a lot of stairs, or if you are going to go upstairs that you have help to move yourself upstairs. Make sure that you have also boarded your cats, dogs, and animals. We do not like to see a lot of animals around you because they inherently uh, like to lick wounds. So can you imagine you having a large wound, they'll come and lick your hand, and then you'll touch them, you'll get an infection. Make sure that you're eating well. We offer protein shakes and vitamins and making sure that that is key and part of your diet. A lot of you guys don't get enough food or the right food stuffs to support healthy wound healing after surgery. Make sure you get rest. I mean, you're gonna to have to rest after this. I know a lot of you guys went at surgery and go right back to work. It's very hard on you. People who work really, really closely after their surgery tend to have more complications. So get enough time off. Anywhere between one week five days to one week for something small like a lipo to up to four weeks for like a mommy makeover or something with a tummy. Do not uh, be working out heavily after surgery. People like to work out and I understand that. Cardio, light walking, light running, weights at your side. Do not do any weights overhead or strain yourself any ways you can bleed. Make sure you're always cognizant of your surroundings and if you feel uncomfortable at all, always call us. We can always help first. A lot of people will say, oh, I'm having a problem, I'll run to the emergency room. Unfortunately, emergency rooms, they're great, but call us so that we can help you triage, unless it is a true emergency, such as shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, unconsciousness, or something going on with your heart. And that's it, those are my tips. Come by soon.